Montana making a difference. Sponsored by Billion Auto Group of Bozeman. You know McDonald's for their burgers and their fries, but at the Ronald McDonald House, they serve hope, comfort, and a shoulder to cry on. I visited the Ronald McDonald House in Missoula to see how organizers are making a difference, not only in the community, but in so many individual lives. It is now smiles across the board for the Hamming family who welcomed their firstborn child June on February 29th. New parents Claire and Carl had everything meticulously planned. They never missed an appointment. They got to know the facilities and the staff. Then things took an unexpected turn. We had planned on obviously giving birth here in Anaconda at our local hospital. Um, and when I went in after my water broke and they said, you know, we can't have preterm babies that young here because we don't have a NICU. Baby June was coming six weeks early. The Hamming scrambled to drive almost an hour to Missoula after Claire's water broke, and there were even more complications from there. I was actually in Helena for work when Claire's water broke and left uh, zero time to pack our bag and have uh, any sort of preparations made for leaving the house for who knows how long. And um, yeah, it was probably the most intense, stressful, tense drive that either one of us has ever experienced. After arriving in Missoula, they would get another surprise. Um, the reason we needed a C-section is because June was breached and that was kind of like a last minute thing that we found out on top of all of this. Like after being up all night, emergency driving ourselves to Missoula, a different hospital, doctors we've never met, nurses we've never met. The family found themselves in a town they don't know, in a hospital with no familiar faces and no bags packed. In their words, it was a world of chaos and unknowns. That's when social workers at the hospital gave them the news that would make a difference in their lives. I walked through the door and was just blown away at how nice and beautiful uh, the whole space is. Um, and the staff there was just amazing and wonderful and so accommodating and comforting. You definitely saw me at like my lowest low. I was an emotional wreck, but the staff was there and was just super lovely and had a dinner waiting for me and, you know, gave me the space and time to grieve. The Ronald McDonald House is ready for families like the Hammings or in a variety of other medical situations, stepping in to help those in need of assistance. It's a global uh, charity and they are designed to provide housing and support for families who are coming um, with a sick child or in our case, a lot of times a high risk pregnancy. Whether it's housing, a daily home cooked meal, helpful staff, music nooks, playrooms for children, and so much more. It's a home away from home while it's needed. They're surrounded by other families who are going through very similar situations and so, Really lifelong friendships are formed here at the Ronald McDonald House. The Ronald McDonald House helps families free of charge to keep their mind at ease and to focus on what truly matters, their family. The work done at Ronald McDonald Houses around the globe makes an everlasting impact on the people they help, sometimes changing the trajectory of their lives. About 15 years ago, my nephew was diagnosed with cancer and living in a small town in eastern Montana, we had to go to Denver for him to receive treatment. It changed, it changed our lives and specifically it changed the course of mine forever. For Amy, it turned out to be an extra 14 months she got with her seven year old nephew. We were as a family able to be with my nephew at all times through his 14 months of receiving treatment. Um, and unfortunately at the end of that 14 months, he passed away. But you know how something good can arise out of something so hard. She applied to be the new CEO of the Ronald McDonald House in Missoula with no nonprofit background, no fundraising experience, no network or support system. But she decided to go for it with support from her sister who said she had what mattered most. She said, but what you do have is a story. You've experienced it, you know what it's like for those families. I think once you experience it, you want to you want to pay it forward. Now as the CEO, Amy looks to be present for those who need care, just as she and her family received. It all began from a dark moment in her life as her nephew Tate was going through what no child should. Three days before Tate passed away, he asked for crayons and a piece of paper. He proceeded to draw that heart over my shoulder on that piece of paper. Um, and I think at that time he knew, he knew what was happening and he wanted to make sure that he was giving a piece of his heart to all of us forever. So we all have 
a replica of that heart hanging in our homes as a reminder. That heart hanging on the wall started a trend now scattered throughout the Ronald McDonald House. Hearts from donors serving as reminders that anyone there will be taken care of. Beacons of hope and stability for families like the Hammings. It was like so much excitement to finally bring June home after a month, but it also felt like we were leaving home to come home. It's like those people did become your family. Reporting in Missoula, Dominic Vidiello, NBC Montana.